Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's the Ba. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing some chalkboard markers. For those of you who don't know what chalkboard markers are, they're kind of like markers that work on a chalkboard, but you can wipe them away with a wet cloth. You may have seen some chalkboard art in places like Whole Foods or um, even in restaurants, like their menus uh, with like colorful ink. I have some markers and some chalkboard labels, which is, I think is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and check them out, see how they write, and um, I'll give you my thoughts. So this was sent through Amazon and it arrives pretty quickly within a couple of days of um, getting the order. So that's a plus. Ooh. Um, so this one is Chocola Platinum Series. Wow, these are really big. I did not know that they were going to be this huge. Uh, okay. 15 millimeters jumbo tip. So I've used chalk pens before, not this brand, and definitely not this big before, but we'll see. Yes, okay, so the typical pens that I've used usually use are like this size, but definitely not this many colors. These are made in China, as with a lot of things. <laughs> we'll check out the quality. Ooh, and these things are so cool never heard of them before. I knew there were like blackboard papers. I didn't know that they printed labels with that blackboard material. So that is pretty cool. You can put the labels on jars or I guess anything really. And um, you can wipe away whatever you want to put on the label so you can reuse the label. Ooh. Oh, look how fun. Okay, so wow, there are 80 labels. That's definitely a good amount of labels. They are 3.2 by 2 inches, and there are seven designs in here. Oh, oh how interesting. I thought it was going to have a slightly rougher texture but it's actually really smooth. I'm gonna first try these regular size markers, the one that people are probably a little bit more familiar with. Let's get purple. Shake vertically. I'm gonna test it out on... So usually you hold it like that and press down. start coming out. And you gotta do it a couple of times. Maybe I will try a different surface. Let me try it on a mirror. Let me read the instructions again. Shake cap 30 seconds. Okay, maybe I need to shake it more. Oh! Okay. I can see the ink coming out. Oh, nice. There is a hard oh, I'm sorry if you see anything in the background. I'm gonna try it on plastic again. I can see a lot of uses for these kinds of pens. Myself being an artist, I like to try and um, organize things. I can see labeling your, your brush jar being kind of a cool thing. But for example, to indicate that these are oil paint brushes. I'll just put uh, watercolor or something. It's a nice vibrant color to it. So I can put watercolor. If I change my mind that I don't want that jar to be watercolor brushes anymore, I can just wipe it off. It does use a wet cloth. Um, I'm gonna try it with a paper towel, a wet paper towel, see if that works. The mirror we did first. Let's see how dry it is. Eh, it's pretty, I'm sorry if you see anything in the background. It's pretty, pretty dry. Um, Okay, so scratching, that'll remove the product. Wet napkin. Okay, little smear. 
But if you keep wiping, everything's gone. Pretty cool. Okay, so I've been to a lot of weddings and definitely there's a lot of DIY kind of projects for decorations and things of that nature. I made these little flower things. These are shot glasses and then just leftover flowers that I just kind of shoved in there. What I would do to customize it, okay, let's say it's Valentine's or like you're celebrating something, I don't know, something lovey-dovey. You can just write on each of these glasses, I love you or something. Yeah, you can totally put the name of a person on these. Happy birthday. Congratulations. I ate your pizza. I'm sorry. I feel like these pens you have to shake very vigorously for the 30 seconds that are recommended or else you're not really going to get the ink to flow out. And then it says you have to tap on the tip of the pen quickly or frequently or whatever. But you really do, or else the ink doesn't come out. But once you get it out, uh, once you get the ink flowing, it's okay. Ugh. Okay. So like a little bit came out already, but it's not quite at the base of the tip yet. The other pens that I've used, you just hold the tip down, and then the ink starts to run through. But I don't think that's true for these types of pen. You can label um, containers, tin, glass, plastic, mirrors, uh, that seems to have worked so, uh, so far. Glass, plastic, tin, mirrors, yeah, stuff like that. So obviously it's not going to work on a porous surface. This is cardboard. So let me just see what it would look like if somebody accidentally used it as a regular marker. Still looks really nice on porous surfaces. Um, it has like a nice kind of matte effect. I kind of like it actually, so I would even use it on paper or cardboard, um, not just glass. Okay, now I'm gonna try the really cool um, chalkboard labels. I'm excited. Okay, let's do a happy birthday. Happy birthday! This one used to be full of Thai tea, and I'm using it as a flower jar right now. But let's say you wanted to make an iced tea or something, sangria, moonshine, I don't know, <laughs> and you want to give it to somebody, you can go ahead and put these on it, and again, the jar would still be reusable. Cool! I'd imagine it's easier to write the message or whatever you want to put on the label on a flat surface and then go ahead and put that label on. Now that this says happy birthday and it's pretty dry, I'm going to erase it. Oops, this is kind of smearing a little bit. Oh yeah, okay, there you go. Comes off totally easily. I just need more water. That's so cool and you could reuse it again and again and again. How will this work in the wash? You're probably going to want to hand wash it. You don't want to scrub too vigorously. I'm sure like the glue might have a tendency to come off. Okay, let me try. Oh no, wait. You don't want to do black ink on a black surface there. Okay. Ooh, let's try this neon orange. Okay. Oh, I gotta, okay. Shake. Like a lot. Shake a lot. I'll be right back. Okay. okay, hi. Yes, I'm back. So, I was able to get the ink going on this and, um... Oh, I did not space this out right. It just says bank. I'm gonna have to use another label. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, so imagine that one said thank you earlier. <laughs> Let's say you want to label spices because sometimes I use empty jars and I pre-mix a bunch of spices. Or you can do the same thing for like salad, homemade salad dressings. Oh, and another thing you can do too, which I think is very important if you make a lot of sauces or spices, dressings, you can always date your product, which is kind of important if you're going to be eating it. Okay, I haven't even tried out these large ones yet, but I am going to try them. Jeez, they're so, <laughs> they're so giant. Struggle as you may. Right. Wow. Holy moly. This thing is huge. I feel like the ink comes out a little bit easier on these big ones. Maybe because it's so heavy when you just like... Oh my god. 
got it on my shirt. Okay, none of my clothes are pretty anyways. Oh, and I, I'll show you another technique that you can uh, do with these chalk pens. Oh, that looks terrible. Whoa. Wow, these are big. Yeah, I probably wouldn't use these for small objects. I'd probably use these big ones for writing on windows. Like, congratulations. Happy birthday, things of that nature. As I mentioned earlier, there are multiple ways of using the chalk pens, and I've done quite a good amount of chalkboard art for restaurants before. What I would do is I would kind of do like a wet on wet technique. So I'm just gonna grab a bunch of this white paint for now, and you can even use, instead of just using the brush tip as the applicator, you can use a paintbrush and I'm just going to paint on this wine bottle. This is just straight ink, I didn't blend or anything and while the paint or the brush ink is still wet, you can go ahead and mix the two so that there's kind of like that ombre gradation effect going on. Do your white and then do the pink, but keep a little space in between. You don't want the white tip of the pen turning pink. And I hope this looks okay because I'm drawing upside down. I've just noticed I was holding this bottle and I guess my hands were really warm and they started melting off the marker from earlier. So if you have warm hands, don't keep it around um, the ink for a long time. So there you go, you can see this is an example of chalkboard art. Final thoughts, I really like the pens. The only thing that I found that was different from these pens versus the ones that I'm typically used to using, you really do have to shake them for 30 seconds, tap on the nib a lot, that way the ink comes down. And you'll know when the ink comes down because you'll see the color start to fill up the felt part of the pen. They feel like they have a lot of juice in them, so I feel like they won't dry out very quickly. The big ones are really good if you want to use your pens more like paint. Dispense the ink onto a flat surface, for example, like a mirror. That way you have a puddle, and then you can use that to paint. But I can definitely see these being used by teachers, kids and students, moms, parents, artists, graduations, weddings, celebratory kind of event, I can definitely see these being used. They're really fun to use, very easy to clean up. You just get a wet rag and kind of wipe things up. And as far as like cleaning the brushes, same thing, just run it in water and all of this will come out. Well, I hope that was informative and if you liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below. And um, if you wanted to order some of the products, just go to the link that's in the description area. So I'll see you guys again. Bye!